Hi kids, welcome back. It's week 25, day three. And today's highlight verse is Ezekiel 37, 21 through 22. Let's look at the King James Version first. Ezekiel 37, 21 through 22. And say unto them, thus saith the Lord God, behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whither they be gone, and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king to them all. And they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. Now, the NIRV version, Ezekiel 37, 21 through 22. Tell them, the Lord and King says, I will take the Israelites out of the nations where they have gone. I will gather them together from all around. I will bring them back to their own land. There I will make them one nation. They will live on the mountains of Israel. All of them will have one king. They will never be two nations again. They will never again be separated into two kingdoms. That is good news. Let's see what our explanation says in Foundations. It says, Ezekiel was a prophet to the people of Judah while they lived in captivity in Babylon. So we know that they were in Jerusalem and then they were taken captive and brought to Babylon to live. And while they were there, Ezekiel was a prophet for them. Now, what is a prophet? is somebody who tells the people there about what the Lord is telling them to say. So the Lord tells the prophet what to say to the people and he needs to obey, right? So God told Ezekiel he would lead the people back to their land. Now the people have been in Babylon for some time now and they're hearing this promise. So it's giving them hope. God told Ezekiel he would restore Israel and Judah into one kingdom and he would be their God. That is good news for the people in Babylon. Ezekiel was a prophet in the time of Judah's captivity. God used two sticks representing Judah and Israel as a symbol for Ezekiel to give the people. God would unify Israel and Judah into a single kingdom. They used to be two different kingdoms, but now he's going to make them one. As their God, he would lead his people back to their land and cleanse them. Now, what does it mean to cleanse them? They have to take a bath? Well, they probably need to take a bath too. But what it means is he's going to forgive their sins. All right, so what does it say in our books for our application? It says, in a time of darkness, God used Ezekiel to share hope with the people of Judah. And today, we can share hope of Jesus with others. How do we do that? We tell them the good news, right? We tell them that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and their sins, and that when they believe and they profess it with their mouth, and they live a life where they put, they call Jesus into their hearts, they will be saved too. Here's an activity in the book that will I'll put up on the screen, and you're going to fill in the blanks to complete Ezekiel 36, 26, which is your memory verse. And here's my answer. Now let's respond in prayer. Jesus, please help me to share your hope with other people. In Jesus' holy name, amen. 
Now it's time for our memory verse. Ezekiel 36, 26, King James Version. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh. Ezekiel 36, 26, King James Version. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh. Ezekiel 36, 26, King James Version. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh. Ezekiel 36, 26, NIRV. I will give you new hearts. I will give you a new spirit that is faithful to me. I will remove your stubborn hearts from you. I will give you hearts that obey me. Ezekiel 36, 26, NIRV. I will give you new hearts. I will give you a new spirit that is faithful to me. I will remove your stubborn hearts from you. I will give you hearts that obey me. Ezekiel 36, 26, NIRV. I will give you new hearts. I will give you a new spirit that is faithful to me. I will remove your stubborn hearts from you. I will give you hearts that obey me. Thanks for the word of God. Amen. Great job. Okay, see you next time.